It's been quite the week for markets. Ours went from record highs to a full-blown meltdown in next to no time. And today, it's jumped by a solid 1.3% as people decided to buy the dip. Despite that, the All Lords is still down by a pretty steep 2.2% for the week. And one reason for this newfound enthusiasm today is that our largest trading partner seems to be on the mend. The latest figures show consumer prices in China rose by just half a percent. But there's still a big problem with deflation or falling prices for China's businesses and producers, though it's still a lot better than it was a year ago. Plus, the world's biggest economy and its job market seems to be in better shape than people thought. There were 17,000 fewer people in America who applied for the dole compared to the week before. And that was the biggest drop in almost a year. So that led to big gains on Wall Street and markets in Hong Kong, as well as cryptocurrencies like Ether and the OG Bitcoin. Though they're still quite a bit down for the week. Now back home, reporting season is in full swing and shares of QBE fell pretty sharply, despite the insurance giant doubling its half-year profit. News Corp surged after announcing plans to sell Foxtel as competition from streaming services like Netflix heats up. While REA Group and Life360 also shot up after they announced better than expected results. In commodities, gold and oil jumped while iron ore prices fell and the Aussie dollar is buying almost 66 US cents. And that's finance.